name is Chelsea and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be unboxing the first ever unplugged book box. This is a box that I have purchased for myself. Um, this is a brand new subscription box service for books. So this is a box that is going to include a new released young adult or new adult book. Um, from my understanding, they are going with more of a theme of like unplugging from electronic devices. And so they're going to be including items that are supposed to be revolving around self-care as well as bookish goodies, which I think is amazing. This is their first ever box. It was $35 plus shipping and handling. And I am very excited to dive into this and see what we have. They are doing seasonal boxes. So um, from my understanding, this is our September box. They have the October one up on their website now. And then their November, so all three of those months are going to be autumn themed. Um, I don't know exactly what that means, but I'm very excited to see what's in here. So it does have on here that it is the autumnal equinox box. And it has on the back different social media sort of stuff. So let's dive right on in. Okay. So they have it really nicely wrapped in here. Um, so this one is keep your head above water. I believe that was the theme for September. It looks like they have a scavenger hunt sort of thing on the back. So I don't think this is a spoiler card. Yeah, but that is super cute. And so this is what it looks like inside. Let's see what we have here. Obviously the first thing that I see on here, it looks like a sticker sheet. So this is um, from Design Pandemonium, and it looks like they're just like a self-care type of stickers. It says it's a self-care sampler. Um, I know that some people do like bullet journals and journaling and all that kind of stuff, and I feel like these would be like super cute for that. I don't do that, but these are like, the design of these is just adorable. The next thing we have in here is in this little black tissue paper okay so it looks like this is information on the company for this here and it's gonna be from a magnetic library okay this is super cute I'm not entirely sure what it is okay I think it's just like a little magnetic book so this is super adorable so they did it themed um, to kill a kingdom which was a book that I actually received in a shelf love crate absolutely loved it but this is super adorable there is also the magnet on the back. They were inspired because the characters in To Kill a Kingdom have to keep their heads above water to fight for what they believe in without sacrificing who they are. That is adorable. I love it so much. I don't have much space left on my fridge for magnets just because I have so many on there, but I'm sure I will find a spot for this. Next, we have a card. So this does, at least it reminds me of the Hogwarts Express. I'm not entirely sure if that's what it is it looks it looks like it is but on the back of the card we have a recipe for a drapple smoothie i guess um okay so draco and apple drapple um but that is super super cute i think this is a really really nice thing to include especially in a box that is supposed to be going more towards like self care uh and like unplugged sort of items this is adorable we have more black tissue paper okay oh and this it looks like it's probably a candle i'm loving the fact that they're actually giving us individual pieces um about the items here i do believe they probably should go towards more like a spoiler card eventually this is nothing that is spoiling obviously because it's on the item but I love that they give us quite a bit of information on the companies. So this is a candle here. It looks like this is Inej's fleet. And this is gonna be rainwater, sea salt, smoke, and sandalwood. Okay, that is a really, really nice smell. I actually like that this is a big candle as well because this is definitely something that I would find myself doing myself. Cedarwood 
is actually my favorite scent like ever and I feel like sandalwood is very similar to that and with the fact that it has like the sea salt and rainwater I think that's what's giving it a little bit of a more milder tone it's not like super in your face but oh my gosh I love this so much and this was created by get fictional it is obviously inspired by six of crows and crooked kingdom so our next item of course comes in the tissue paper okay I haven't even seen all of this yet but just the title of it I'm, I'm dying it is amazing so this is an iced tea thing which is great because I actually prefer iced tea over hot tea um, but it is called we all float down here which Stephen King and it are like my favorite things and so I just love this so much but this is a relaxing iced tea it does contain caffeine and it gives you all of the directions on here of how to make it which is perfect because I don't know how but this will be perfect for me and this one is created by story of my tea and this was made exclusively for the unplugged book box and it and it is obviously inspired by Stephen King's it and Pennywise I love this so much okay our next item even comes in bubble wrap and it smells good already I can smell it from here so okay so this is what it looks like this is gorgeous it is called the second task and it is sea salt and driftwood with a touch of mermaid song this was made by Zen Bath Candies LLC and it looks like this is actually going to be a bath bomb that is inspired by Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. This is for the second task. This is gorgeous. It really does remind me of like mermaid scales and I can't wait to use this. And then it looks like the last item we have in here is our book. It is wrapped super super nicely and it does have a little card here about the importance of self-care and there on the back it also has like a gratitude journal page type of thing I think this is super super cool and so obviously we have our book let us see what we have here so we have Sadie by Courtney Summers I am super glad that I did not actually pick this up in the bookstore the last time I was there because I definitely considered it um, it also looks like we have a card here that you are supposed to read after you finish the book. That is very unique. I haven't seen something like this before, so I think I'm gonna end up putting that back in the back of the book. And then in the front of the book, we have some items as well. We have like a pamphlet for the book, but it's like a thing about Colorado, and it has like a map in there. But it is for the book because we have that on the back so that is very interesting we do also have a letter from the author and a signed book plate these are always super cool to have and then under the just jacket I don't know if we're gonna be able to see that too well but there is actually an imprint on the book it looks like a switchblade so I don't know too much about this but from my understanding Sadie is gonna be one of our main characters and she ends up sort of running away from home after the murder of her little sister. Um, she is armed with a switchblade, hence that imprint on the book, which I think is a really, really nice touch. And I think she's going and trying to get revenge. But also at the same time, we're going to be following a different character who is, I think, a, the creator of a podcast or a radio show or something like that, who, after learning about what happened to her sister, and that was probably the reason she ran away, is hoping to help her or save her before something else bad happens that is all I know it sounds very intriguing which was the reason I was looking at it at the bookstore in the first place so I'm so happy that I have my hands on a copy and then the very last thing actually in the box is going to be a card showing our theme for October which is things are not what they seem and then on the back it looks like we have a playlist and I'm pretty sure this playlist is actually for our book here because it says theme songs for your story and it does say September 2018 so this I think is super super cool and so I think this is a really cool touch especially if they actually were like making sure you had songs that sort of fit with the theme of the box and the book which is amazing so I feel like this is a pretty successful first box for this company I am very intrigued to see what is going to be coming up next from them 
I do follow them on their Instagram, which is where I keep up with what the themes are going to be. Obviously, October's theme is things are not what they seem. It says, calling all lovers of autumn and Halloween, do you ever find yourself drawing up a hypothetical scenario or conclusion in your mind, creating an illusion based on your perception of someone or something? This box is a Halloween lover's dream with items inspired by creepy tales and dark delights sure to keep you up at night. With fun, fandom-inspired self-care goodies, of course. Each of the October boxes will have a Ouija board-inspired item, and the book is going to be a young adult book that will be sure to keep you up late, turning the pages to the very end. And two of the items are going to be inspired by Stephen King and V.E. Schwab, which I absolutely love, so I am super excited to see their next box. I'm also very intrigued as to what this item is going to be here, so I'm sure I need to pick up this book soon. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up to let me know. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what you thought of this very first box from this company. Subscribe to this channel if you would like to see more videos. I do have videos up every Monday and Thursday, so I will see you then. Bye.